Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion. Exercise 10b, we are on question 10. This is found on page number 114. Question 10. The length of a pencil is 18 centimeters and its radius is 0.4 centimeters. We have to find the ratio of its length to its diameter. Okay, now let's start. The length of a pencil is 18 centimeters. Its radius is given as 0.4 centimeters. Now, what is the radius of a pencil? Now, you know a pencil is cylindrical, isn't it? So, if I have to take this portion of the pencil, it's cylindrical. Now, from the center to any point, from the center to any point on the border is called my radius. So, this portion that I've drawn here is the radius. So, what is the diameter? Now, this radius, if I extend it to the other side, I get a straight line like this, isn't it? So, I have one portion of the radius here, one more portion of the radius here. Together, they form the diameter. So, you need to multiply the radius into 2. Twice the radius will give you the diameter. So, we know diameter is 2 into radius. That means the diameter of this pencil will be 2 into what is the radius given to us? 0.4 centimeters. So let's find the diameter of the pencil. Now, when we multiply decimal numbers, we have to ignore the point. So here, 2 into 0.4. Let me ignore the point and write 2 into 4. Or simply, 2 fours are 8. Now let me write 8 as a whole number. Now I'm going back to the question. In my question, there is one decimal place. So my answer also should have one decimal place. Now 8, I have taken it here. It's a whole number. For all whole numbers, it is understood that the point is after the number. Now, since I ha should have one decimal place, I'm going to move my point one place to the left. And my point comes here. So the point is here and the number, there's no number before it. So I'm going to put 0. So what do I have? 0. Point Eight. So the diameter of the pencil is 0 0.8 centimeters. Now I can find the ratio of the length of the pencil to its diameter. So let me write that. Length of the pencil is 18 centimeters, which is already given to us, is 2. The diameter of the pencil is 0 0.8 centimeters. Now let me write this as a fraction, 18 by 0 0.8. Now the denominator is a decimal number. I'm going to make it a whole number. I'm going to make it 8. That means my point has to go from there to there. For that, I need to multiply by 10. If I multiply the denominator by 10, I must multiply the numerator also by 10. Now let's see what we get. 18 into 10 is 180. 0 0.8 into 10 is simply 8. So now I've got 180 by 8. Let me reduce this to the lowest term by dividing both by 2. Let's divide both by 2. Okay, 180 divided by 2. So let's do that. 180 divided by 2. 18 to 9s are 18 minus... So I have the 0 on top also. So it is 90. So 180 divided by 2 is 90 by 2 into what is 8 to 4 is our rate. Now I can continue this division. I can divide this again by 2. Let's divide both by 2 again. So 90 divided by 2. Let's divide 90 by 2 and see. 9 to 4 is our rate minus 1, bring down 0, 2 fives are 10. So we've got 45. 90 divided by 2 is 45. And 2 into what is 4? 2 twos are 4. Now we've got 45 by 2, which cannot be reduced further. So I can convert that to a ratio. The ratio of the length of the pencil to its diameter is 45 is to 2. So this is my answer. 45 is to 2. Question 11. 
ratio of the distance of the school from A's home. So we have one person called A. So distance from A's home and from B's home is 2 is to 1. So we have two people and we are talking about the distance of the school from their houses. And the ratio is 2 is to 1. Now the question is who lives nearer to the school? Okay, now let's start. Distance of the school from A's home. Okay, from A's home to the distance from B's home is given to us as 2 is to 1. That means distance of the school from A's home by the distance of the school from B's home is 2 by 1. As we know, ratio 2 is to 1 can be written as division 2 by 1. Okay, so now we are trying to find how far A's home is from the school when compared to B's home. And who is staying closer to the school? So distance of the school from A's home is 2 and distance of the school from B's home is 1. So we put it as a division fraction 2 by 1. Now if we have to find the distance of the school from A's home, we write 2 into, now this one, distance we have taken it to the other side. So it's become into distance of the school from B's home. Okay, so from A's home, it is 2 into B's home. That means B lives nearer to the school than A, isn't it? Because A's home is twice the distance from B's home. Okay, so now we know that B lives closer to school than A. Now there's one more part of this question. A table is given to us and we have to complete this table. So distance in kilometer from A's home is the first row and then and in the second row we have distance in kilometers from B's home to school. So in certain rows we have numbers given, in certain others we don't have and we have to find out. So let's just mark these as A, B, C, D and E just for our convenience for us to help us find. So in question A, the distance from A's home is given and B's home we have to find out. Okay, so let's do that. So distance of school from A's home we know is 2 into distance from B's home. Isn't it? We just found out A is 2 into B's home. So let's do that. So A's home in the first question is given as 4 which is 2 into distance from B's home. So now we have to find this, isn't it? We have to find this, that is distance of the school from B's home. So distance of the school from B's home will be 4 divided by 2. This is the 4 I've taken and divided by 2 from here. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that means this answer here is 2 kilometers. 2 kilometers. I will not write in kilometers because it's already given here kilometers. So this answer is 2. So as you can see, if you look at the first column, 4 and 2, you can see that B's distance is half of 4. Half of 4. Or A's distance is double B. So now we can actually easily find out all these. If B is 9, A is 9 into 2. That is 18. If C is A, question C, if A is 8 there, then B is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Question D, if B is 8, A is double that, that is 16. Question E, if A is 6, then B is half of that 3. Okay, we can easily find this out, but let's do it the proper way. We'll have all steps and we'll work it out. So we have found A. Question A, which I have marked here, we have found the distance from B's home. Now let's go to the second part. Distance in kilometer from A's home is given to us 4 and then we have 2. Now we are doing the B question. Okay, we finished A. Now we are doing the B question. This time, we don't know what 
A is, the distance of A is, but we know the distance of B. But since we know the ratio, we know 9 into 2 is 18 and that will be the distance from A's home. But let's work out the steps. So the steps are like this. Distance of the school from A's home is 2 into distance of the school from B's home. So this step, first step is used everywhere for all the questions. Now, distance of the school from A's home will be 2 into, what is the distance from B's home in question B? It is 9. 2 into 9 is 18. 18 kilometers. Okay, so we can write the answer here as 18 kilometers. So we have found the answer there. Now let's go to C. Question C. This time A is given, we have to find out B. So again, same statement for all questions. Distance of the school from A's home is 2 into distance from B's home. Then, so distance of the school from A's home is given. This is already given in the question. That is 2 into distance from B's home. So now we must find distance from B's home. That will be 8 divided by 2. So I have taken 8 from here and 2 from here. 8 divided by 2 which is 4. 2 4s are 8. So I have found C to be 4. Okay. Then we will move on to the next one. Next question. So here we have found A. That is 2, B is 18 and C is 4. We've already found. Now we have to find D. This time again it is from A is home. So same statement. Distance of the school from A is home is 2 into B is home. Okay. So we have to find A this time. So 2 into what is the distance from B is home given to us? 8 kilometers. So 8, 2 eights are 16. So we have found the answer to this. It's 16 kilometers. Now let's go on to question E. This time A is given to us. We must find B. Again, distance from A's home is 2 into distance from B's home. And we know that the distance of the school from A's home is 6. It's given in the question as 6. So it's already 6. Now 6 is 2 into distance from B's home. Now, so what will the distance from B's home be? 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 2. 3's are 6. So now we have found this answer also. So can you see children? We have found all the answers. Now if you see B is the smaller one and A is the greater one and A is twice that of B. Look at the first one. 2 is the distance from B. 2 into 2 is 4. Next one, 9 into 2 is 18. Next one, 4 into 2 is 8. Next one, 8 into 2 is 16. And the last one, 3 into 2 is 6. Let's go on to the next question. Question 12. The student-teacher ratio in a school is 45 is to 2. It means 45 students to 2 teachers. If there are 4,050 students in the school, how many teachers are there? So let's start. The student-teacher ratio is 45 is to 2. Then, let the number of students and teachers be, we'll take it as 45x and 2x. So 45x will be the number of students and 2x will be the number of teachers. The number of students given to us is 4050. That means 45x is 4050, isn't it? Now 45x means 45 into x. So to find x, I will leave 4050 on the right hand side. And 45 is multiplication. I will take it to the right hand side. It becomes division by 45. Now let me divide 4050 by 45. So let's do that division. 
4050 divided by 45. This we are doing to find the number of students. Now 45 into what will give us a number close to 405. So let's try with 9. Okay. So 45 into 9. Let me multiply it here. 45 into 9. 9 fives are 45. Carry 4. 9 fours are 36 plus 4 is 40. So that's 405. We can use that number here. 405. 0. And then I have one more 0 which I can carry up. So I have found the value of x to be 90. The value of x is 90. So now I can find the number of teachers. How can I find that? I have assumed the number of teachers to be 2x, isn't it? So let me use that. 2x, the number of teachers is 2x. That means 2 into x. So that will be 2 into x we have found out to be 90. So 2 into 90. So 9 twos are 18 and I have to add a 0. It becomes 180. 90 into 2 is 180. So we have found the number of teachers to be 180. So this is our answer. Number of teachers is 180. So with that children, we've come to the end of this exercise. We will continue with the other exercises in the next video. Thank you children.